wonder who the person is cooking for famous athletes like the Dallas Cowboys? Well, in some instances, a lot of instances, it's this guy right here, Chef Poppy. How, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, well, it's fun to have you here in my kitchen, right. kind of cooking. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm a Dallas Cowboy right now. <laughs> so I've got to know, we rewinding way back, you guys, he went to um, a culinary school for kids when he was just 12 years old. Yes, yes. And then how did it go from there? How did you get into the homes of these athletes and become kind of the go-to guy? So really, I played football for Deion Sanders growing up. Yeah. As y'all know, I'm Coach, so coach Prime, Coach Deion, you know, <laughs> Love it. things of that nature. But I played football for him, and he would have me come into the house and, and do, bake desserts and things for, for dinners, and the chef would teach me how to present my foods and, and speak and kind of carry myself as far as a, in, the, in a chef aspect. Of course. And, you know, just kept going. Who have you cooked for recently that we would recognize? Um, I don't know. Dak Prescott. I don't know. C.D. Lamb. I don't know. <laughs> Ezekiel. Elliot, I don't know, little baby, I don't know, you know. And now Jenny in CW3. Right, right. Can't forget that, that's the biggest of them all. Exactly. Okay, what are we making today? So today, I'm going to let you actually name the salad, oh. but we're going to we're gonna make a beer vinaigrette, a Dos Equis beer vinaigrette salad. Shrimp is ready, and I want to hear about this spice. Right, got you. So I have yeah. my own blends. I, I have see that. a deep sea, which is kind of like the, of course, for seafood. Sure. I have one that is called APOP, which is all purpose, on purpose. Use it for really anything, everything. Uh -huh. um, and then I also have a Veggie Tales, which is a veggie seasoning oh, to make cute. sure make oh. sure everybody eating the vegetables. Yeah, yeah, I know. You have to season them up, otherwise <laughs> right. we just kind of push right. them aside. Ooh, yes, I like that sizzle. <laughs> Okay, shrimp is about ready. What yeah. are you doing with the beer? So our beer is done simmering. So we're, I'm just going to put it in a bowl so that it can rest and chill so that we can get our vinegar going. Okay, the beer is going to chill. <laughs> I love it. So I kind of try to roll it all tight together so you're getting an even chop. Okay. And then we're just going to go here. Okay, starting in with cucumber. So you say as long as you don't slice into the root, you won't have the tears? Right. We have our almonds. Um, definitely just buy them in the store, cut up like this. Yep. I, it's so much work trying to skin them and all that other I extra agree. stuff. So yeah, definitely. So we'll sprinkle us some in there. Not too much right now because we can always come back and add more. A little bit of lemon juice, the same that you would put in your beer lime on the cold. Juice. That, uh, lime juice. Yeah. <laughs> Chef's putting me to work. Oh yeah. I told, I told him I wanted my own <laughs> private chef and he was like, listen. Okay, are we putting some more of your seasoning yes, on here? Yes, we're just gonna hit it with a little sprinkle. I always like to season everything because everything needs a little extra flavor. Yes, so I agree. So just hit me with a little bit of the seasoning. The best and most important part. Yeah. The cheese. I agree, 100%. Oh my gosh, yum. Okay, I came up with a name. Okay. This is gonna be Jenny's post baby salad. Post baby salad. Because I feel like yeah. this is one that I would eat all the time. Right. You know, when you're kind of like running around, you need to just take a bite of something. Definitely. You need to get, you know, some vegetables in. You right. definitely need a lot of protein. Okay, let's see how. <laughs> okay, gotta dance. Mm. <laughs> gotta you gotta dance. dance. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, for sure. Oh my it's really, really yummy. Okay, well, I'm chewing this bite. Tell everybody where they can find you, follow you, keep Definitely. up with your projects. So you can find me on Instagram, of course, at ChefHoppy underscore. My website, thechefhoppy.com. So we'll put all the details, of course, on our website, CW33.com. <laughs>